there's only one group to blame, and that group is the Republican Party. It's time for the Republicans to start wielding power. They've got to learn to stop their namby-pamby, spineless, finger-to-the-wind approach to running the country. It's time for Republicans to stop fighting with each other and start supporting the president. How can you, Republicans, possibly let the DOJ, the Attorney General, and the FBI stonewall you? Put on your big boy pants and use the Department of Justice and the FBI to investigate and prosecute those who violated our laws. So, they decide to trash, belittle, and shame the president and his family, including the first lady, making fun of their accent, their intellectual capability, their hair, you name it. And they decide to ignore a congressional subpoena for Department of Justice documents on the FISA abuse scandal and the Hillary Clinton investigation. So who are they? And who do we blame for the repeated trashing of the First Lady? Why is it open season on the First Family? Who do we blame for the refusal to honor congressional subpoenas? There's only one group to blame, and that group is the Republican Party. How did we get so lost? How is it that these people are so comfortable, so at ease, hanging in effigy the bloody head of our president, laughing about killing him in an elevator, laughing about blowing up the White House, threatening to beat up the president? They criticize the intellect of our president, a Wharton graduate, who got a 30 out of 30 on an acuity test when they... Robert De Niro, Chelsea Handler, Madonna, Sean Penn, Johnny Depp, never got past the 12th grade. They do it with such ease and no shame. Why? They do it because they can. Because they've learned that there are no consequences, that nothing happens to them when they do. Barack Obama, on the other hand, Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi promote resistance and obstruction. Police are told to stand down and not arrest. Hollywood jumps in trying to brainwash everyone that the president, Republicans, and anyone who believes in law and order is the enemy, while ideological federal judges follow the narrative. As President Trump seeks to protect us and our border because Border Patrol agents are swamped, they chant in unison that he's a racist, a fascist. They dither as to whether or not they want their border protected. And in the case of Oregon's Governor Kate Brown, she refused border protection and refused to assist other states three days after she accepted a large donation from George Soros. Hey, Kate, a geography primer, you weren't even in the picture. Take a look at this map. Your state isn't on the southern border where the operation is being conducted. The Democrats are comfortable doing what they do because they've learned to wield power, like the FBI and the Department of Justice, when they decided that one of their own would not be prosecuted. Like when they prioritize illegal criminals over American citizens, proudly declaring themselves to be sanctuary. They have learned what to do when they're in power covering for their own, like allowing a corrupt charitable foundation, which in reality is a pay-for-play international racketeering syndicate. They've instituted a deep state shadow government to continue their agenda even when they're gone from power. And unlike Republicans, they've learned to circle their wagons. They're in lockstep with each other on the Russia collusion narrative when we all know the only collusion was the cash flow of hundreds of millions that went into Bill and Hillary's corrupt foundation for our uranium. And even though Democrats lost the House, the Senate, and the Oval, they're still running the country with the help of establishment Republicans. And as a result, the Trumps are fair game. 
The president colluded with the Russians and must be impeached. Melania's an idiot. Ivanka's successful clothing line must be removed from the shelves. And Eric, whose charity gave more than 98% to help childhood cancer victims, his charity must be shut down. Donnie takes an innocent meeting, and they say he's committed treason. Their hate is vicious, and it's real. And as they march proudly in their pink hats, oblivious to the irony of their deafening silence when their Democrat president was getting sexual favors from an intern in the Oval Office while he was president. It's time for the Republicans to start wielding power. They've got to learn to stop their namby-pamby, spineless, finger-to-the-wind approach to running the country. It's time for Republicans to stop fighting with each other and start supporting the president. How can you, Republicans, possibly let the DOJ, the Attorney General, and the FBI stonewall you? Put on your big boy pants and use the Department of Justice and the FBI to investigate and prosecute those who violated our laws. And while you're at it, stop apologizing for our Second Amendment because this ain't gonna end well unless and until Republicans get the guts to wield the power to run our government the way it's supposed to be run.